from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Simulated training solutions World First VR Blast Wall and its VR Cube have resulted in efficient, effective and memorable training programs for Anglo-American Platinum's Engineering Services Training Center and Murray and Roberts Cementation Training Academy. Nadine James has a story. SDS VR head Johan Bauer explains that the VR Cube was specifically developed for the needs of the ESTC, while the VR Blast Wall was a collaborative development between SDS and SASA Nitrate. So what you see behind me is our virtual cube. Um, it's the first virtual cube locally produced and designed in South Africa for the mining industry. And uh, this one is installed at the ESTC training center for Anglo. Um, as far as we know, it's the first and only one in Africa for mining industry. This cube specifically caters for um, electrical training at the moment, racking in and racking out of medium voltage breakers. The next stage would be looking at phasing and we may be looking at uh, overhead power line safety. Um, the ESTC training centre also do a lot of training on um, electrical work, well, as I mentioned, and hydraulic work. So we'll be looking at getting the people in the cube in that environment as well. The other technology that we developed first in the world was the virtual blast wall um, in conjunction with Sasol Nitro, where they had to put something down for the Glencore Mupani mine in Zambia. So they approached us and said, well, we've got, um, we need to train people on something new, something that's never been done before in marking off a pattern for blasting. So we developed a virtual blast wall, um, it went, installed it in Zambia, and uh, the success of that just rolled off. Um, we then got Marion Roberts as a client, we've got one installed at Anglo Platinum um, to Mela Mine and we're also looking at Thorncliffe uh, University Pretoria is also looking at a portable VR wall. MRTA's virtual blast wall is encased in a refurbished shipping container that includes a 9 meter long printed canvas made to look like a stop filtering the blast face. MRTA education training and development executive Tony Pretorius describes the fruitful relationship between SDS which led to the academy acquiring several VR products. Marian Roberts has been making use of the STS products for a number of years. Um, the products that we make use of today includes uh, the Web LMS um, program, uh, which is a learner management system. And uh, coupled to that, we have the mass assessment clicker tool that runs off the Web LMS, our virtual reality blast wall. Uh, the virtual reality blast wall was um, a, a program that I actually came to have a look at when I was in Zambia um, a couple of years back. Um, SDS in collaboration with uh, SASO um, built this virtual reality blast wall at Mopani at the training centre, a world class training centre. And um, I was quite uh, privileged to go out there and have a look what this was all about and we decided to bring it here to Marian Roberts Cementation Training Academy um, to the point that we've also made further advances in the virtual reality world as you've come to see today. Um, there's a number of modules that we've introduced in the VR platform such as entry exam and safe declaration um, as well as uh, inspection of equipment and um, going further, we have recently uh, made great strides with the initiative of replicating the virtual world of uh, the Venetia underground mining project out in Messina. And we're hoping to introduce that also uh, very soon. Pretorius believes that VR technologies are superior to traditional teaching and training methods because they are more immersive and therefore more effective. Benefits of virtual reality include, but it's certainly not limited to um, having more fun in the learning environment. When a learner has more fun, it normally accelerates the learning uh, process. Um, the turnaround time in your cycles is reduced significantly using virtual reality. Putting a person into an immersive environment also gives an actual setting for identifying workplace and work related hazards and risks where traditionally this would not be accomplished as well in the traditional lecture sort of um, environment. Virtual reality has um, extended to operator proficiencies and uh, this is obviously what we want to achieve at uh, Marianne Roberts Cementation Training Academy. Bauer adds that introducing an element of fun has resulted in unforeseen benefits. 
What we found very interesting with the Vilcho Blast Wall is we added something um, which is a little bit of a scoreboard, the top 10 scores, and um, just to gamify it a little bit. And the spin off of that was much more than we anticipated. We actually found that people now go after hours in their own, over weekends even, to go through training again to beat his buddy score. So Monday morning you got bragging rights, and then Tuesday your friends got bragging rights again. So as Tony said, the, the, the fact that you bring fun into training now, people want to go through training. Um, they are then motivated by themselves. It's not um, threatening people, you have got to go through this training. If they want to train by themselves, they're enjoying it, and if you enjoy something, the information retention is so much greater. Um, because virtual reality is an experience and not a something we just watch a video or a PowerPoint, the memory is embedded in your brain. You build muscle memory, you go through the paces, and the, the recollection of information six months, ten months down the line is almost 80%. As to in a PowerPoint presentation, you walk out five minutes later, what I talk about, I, I don't know what the presentation was about. Okay. Um, Technology-wise, I believe um, virtual reality is a stepping stone. A lot of development is happening in virtual reality to get it to augmented reality. In augmented reality, we can blend virtual with the real world where you can walk along and see data added that help you in training. For example, the um, HoloLens, where I can overlay the steps to rectify any problem right in front of my field of vision while I look at the actual problem. Virtual meetings is going to become a very big thing in the future. It's already picking up speed where two people geographically removed, one in the United States, one in South Africa, put on the headsets and they meet in a virtual environment where they then can discuss a problem as if you were right in front of me. Um, augmented reality still got a little way to go uh, to get there, get the headsets light, to get the computation power there that we need. So the next five to ten years will be very interesting in that. Um, virtual reality is here to stay, augmented reality is here to stay. Uh, anybody not getting on board now is going to be left behind. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.